Nordisk is the world's largest maker of insulin. It reported net profit jumping 70% last quarter, so a strong number, but less than what some analysts were expecting. Bloomberg Shannon Pettipiece is with us now, and she is joined by the CEO of the company, Lars Sorensen. Shannon. Lars, your company's been betting big on the expanding waistlines of Americans. About 75% of your sales are for treatments for diabetes. But are you concerned at all that you may need to diversify more beyond just diabetes? No, in fact, uh, I can tell you that uh, if we look at the, the people with diabetes globally, uh, less than 10% get proper treatment. So there's an enormous uh, possibility to ex expand our business. And unfortunately, there are more and more people that are getting diabetes. So it is, it's unfortunately a fantastic business outlook. Are you sort of um, saying, you know, that you're betting on some of these, these healthy treatment options failing, you know, these healthy initiatives by people like Michelle Obama or Michael Bloomberg? Are, are you not expecting those to work? Are you expecting this obesity trend to continue? Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's going to get much worse before it gets any better. Uh, in spite of all the good intentions and initiatives, we see an increasing uh, level of obesity all over the world. And uh, we see a, a rising epidemic of diabetes in emerging markets like Asia and in Latin America. So I think it's going to get uh, worse before it gets better. But there are encouraging signs in certain population groups and within certain social groups uh, that it is possible to prevent obesity and diabetes. Why do you think it's been so difficult to get this problem under control? Well, I think human beings are like any animal species uh, trying to conserve energy. Uh, and so exercising and foregoing uh, eating is a counterintuitive and a very difficult uh, maneuver for, for humans. Then, of course, in the emerging markets, uh, people living there are uh, having lots of pressures and uh, growing economies, uh, getting their family life uh, to function, and, and therefore uh, worrying about something which may happen 20, 30, 40 years from now is probably not on the agenda right now. Well, uh, Lars, just a final question. Do you think we're getting close to a cure? No, unfortunately, we cannot see a cure in sight. We are working, we are in fact, one of the companies that are working most diligently on this. We think stem cells may be one of the avenues, but it's still 15, 20 years out in the future. So possibly not something that we will see in our lifetime. All right, well, I'm sorry, that's all the time we have right now. Deirdre, back to you. Shannon, thanks very much.